Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube world? It's Cowboy Seabop here. Everybody pretty much knows me as, uh, you know, Tube 5150, but I've been trying to change the name now for a few weeks to no avail. I'm having a problem. Who do I gotta pay? Uh, I read the guidelines and YouTube said something like, hey, if it's less than 90 days old, I could change it up to three times. Well, we opened this account like 10 years ago. My daughter actually started it, I helped her. And um, when I started posting videos last year, I just went along with uh, the old tubes 5150, you know, not even thinking. Now I got 60, 70 some videos on there. I don't wanna start a whole new channel, but if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. Um, if you notice my font, it's gonna say Cowboy Seabop. In the meantime, um, I'd want to just, you know, if it changes, it changes. If not, it's still Tubes 5150, but pretty much I'm Cowboy Seabot. Now, shout out. Dear friend of mine, Donnie B. All Day. If you haven't checked out his channel, please check it out. I've put it out there before for you guys. He did something really cool for me. When my daughter gave birth to little Jolie James back on May 30th, it was decided that my grandkids are going to call me Seabop. My father was Bebop. He was Cowboy Bebop. I'm Cowboy Seabop. So, in, uh, in honor of him, tribute to him, and uh, I miss him dearly. I, he, he passed away like five years ago, and I still feel like he's sitting on my couch. But, um, so we're going with the Cowboy Seabop. And anyway, I, I told a few friends you know, what I'm gonna be calling, what my grandkids are gonna be calling me. So the other the other day, I came home after like a long day, day night trip. I got a package in the mail. My buddy Donnie B all day. This is what he sent me. How badass is that? Huh? Check out the back. He even put his little D-bat on the knives. <laughs> stag handle. He knows I love my stags. Stag handle bowies are my favorite. Been loving them for quite some time. And that's why we're here today. You know, that shout out, my name of the Cowboy Seabop. Now let me take you for a walk. Let me show you some of my, uh, my little treasures. You guys, if you saw my video a couple, uh, like the last video or two ago, gave a quick once over of my bins that have to be reviewed. These have to be reviewed. So we're gonna do a, a once over. Just a quick little. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here on this table? Oh Lord. These are all stag and bone handle knives. Am I going too quick for you all? These are all the, you know, the sheaths that I go with. And these are all the knives. Where do I begin? Let's start off with something very common. You guys familiar with the Uncle Henry. The Uncle Henry Golden Spike. That's this baby right here. This is a beautiful, sharp little blade. Sometimes I just see something I like, I order it. Well, I got two of basically the same knives from two different companies. This is the Elk Ridge. What's that? 027. Basically the same knife. And I showed you this one the other day. The Whitetail by Frost Cutlery. Little differences. Little differences. 
but still awesome, just the same. Awesome budget knives, all right? So there's my little, uh, my, my Uncle Henry triplets. And then I found this bad boy by Hen and Rooster. Oh, by the way, that's, you know, Delrin stag. This is genuine stag. Look at how that knife was cut. This thing is awesome for cutting meat. We call this the hen and rooster. Come on, where are you, buddy? 5014. Okay, so I, I tried this out on some steak. Absolutely wonderful. The way this thing is cut, looks like a feather, huh? That's stainless steel. The hen and rooster 5014. All right, we got a ways to go. So let's move on. Showed you this one the other day. This is the Burnt Stag by Whitetail. I don't have the number for this. I got this used on eBay. And guess what, guys? I love it. Yeah, full tang action. Feels good in hand. I got this one as a gift. This is by Sizgo. S-Z-C-O. Genuine bone, full tang, Bowie knife. It's about nine inches overall. This thing is a little beast. Got the brass pins. Highly recommend. Yeah, these are all budget knives, except that hen, hen and rooster right there. All right, good luck trying to find it. But um, this is a beautiful knife from our boys over at Cisco. Hey, if you like knives, you gotta have at least one, one SZCO in your collection, all right? Eh, let's move it on to this bad boy. Do you know what this is? This is a Rough Rider, full tang hunter knife. Genuine stag. There's gonna be a test after all this, guys, so you gotta let me know which one was your favorite, all right? This is the Rough Rider. Let's see if I wrote that down. The Rough Rider what? What is it? Can't seem to get a number on that. Nope, sorry guys. Anyway, that's the Rough Rider right here. Something similar, but a lot bigger. What do we got here? Similar, but a lot bigger. I do believe I did a review on this. My SZCO Hunter Knife. Another stag handle. Oh my God, what a difference between the Rough Rider and this badass. I got the Rough Rider first, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get this thing duplicated. And I saw this, jumped on it immediately. Wow, what a difference. And this thing feels so good in hand. The Rough Rider, until I got this. Oh yes, glorious day in the knife neighborhood. All right, what do we got here? This is something called the Eye Field. The Eye Field, made in Spain, full tang, genuine stag, hunter's knife, 3CR13. I did a comparison with this and a hen and rooster and uh, wow, this thing definitely, definitely hung with the master at, at, of hen and rooster. Got a little lanyard hole right there. 
Loving that stag handle. This, again, feels so good. You guys must ask yourselves, what does he use to actually, like, you know, he's got so many damn knives. What does he use? I use them all when I can. This little guy is by Timber Rattler. The Timber Rattler TR106. It's like a, a yellow bone, full tang. I think this is called a Timber, timber Rattler Badass. <laughs> Another budget knife that you need to get your hands on. What is the, uh, I know I had more information on this. Come on, buddy, where are you? Yeah, it's called a boning knife, I'm sorry. Highly recommend, four and three quarter stainless steel blade, black and orange bone handle, brass plate and guard, eight and a half inch overall. Guys. Before these are all gone, definitely try to find it. it. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is a fun little knife to have in your collection. The Timber Rattler TR106. Now for one of my favorite Timber Rattlers. They call this... Yellow Bone. The Timber... Rattler, what is it? TR67, 12 inches overall, Colorado yellow camel bone. Oh, that's Colorado yellow. Check out that guard, guys. It's not brass, but I like it. All right. Look at this shine. And this thing is so sharp. I'm really getting ahead of myself because I'm not even showing you guys these sheaths. A little dirty right there. Now it's not. All right, I'm not even showing you these sheaths. Sorry about that. All of them, all of them have come with leather sheaths. Every single one, except Except that little guy here, that white tail burnt stag, and one of these uh, Uncle Henry's, also the white tail. All right, so they're the uh, they're the nylon sheaths. Rest are all leather. I decided one day, I'm such a Timber Rattler fan, I got one of those dual, dual knives. You know, you get the big boy in the back and you get the smaller guy in the front. And that's these two guys right here, the Timber Rattler 95. They call it the cattle ranch knife combo. One of them is 12 inches overall. It's got that gorgeous bone handle with like those red and black spacers. And then he got his little brother. Never used it. Seems like that handle is way too big for the blade. But it sure is cute. <laughs> so that's that combo. Timber, wrap, leather sheath combo set combo set oh check out this timber rattler come on another bone carved bone they call this the arizona sunset bowie tr136 a beast and let me tell you something i have used this this is an excellent chopper it's really thick right there. What is that? Mm. Damn it. I didn't write that down. Okay, hand carved genuine bone. Just 
So nice, the Arizona Sunset, TR-136. Radiant hues evoke a, let me see, a desert sky at sunset. Oh yeah, so pretty. I'm trying to read something while I'm showing you guys this. Yeah, this is a beast. I like this one so much that I got the Ozark by Timber Rat. This is my last Timber Rat, folks. This is the Ozark by Timber Rattler. TR-134. Both of them come with leather sheaths. I thought mine was cracked, so I returned it. They sent me another one. Still has little hairline cracks, but that's just the way it's made. Um, Donnie B. All Day did an excellent review on this. I sent him one out as a special gift. I wanted to see him break it on camera before I did. And he put his through the damn ringer. And it held up really, really nice. So, we know it works. Is it a wall hanger? No. All right. So, that's it for my timber rats. Um, you know, bone handle knives. And I think out of all of them, out of all of just the bone handles... And, you know, a couple stag. There's a couple stag in there. I'm really loving this one. I love this Timber Rattler, you know, camel bone here. Yellow camel. Well, because it looks orange. But, uh, yeah, this one might be my favorite. Next to the eye field and the Cisco and that Rough Rider and the Cisco. Oh, that Hen and Rooster. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, goodness. Remember, it's going to be a test. So, next, going to do a review on this soon. The Mossy Oak Break Up Country Budget Knife Full Tang. There we go. Got to tell you, this thing feels great in hand. I've, uh, I've only shredded boxes with it. It's pretty damn sharp actually this thing was razor sharp out of the box another great budget knife is that genuine stag I don't know sorry about that but we will be doing a full review on this soon the mossy oak breakup country now that came with a leather sheath as well. It's okay. I've seen worse. I've seen a thousand times better, but this, this will definitely do the trick. All right. This seems like it's really, it's like thin leather, but hey, you know, when you're paying 17 bucks for, you know, a large, you know, buoy knife, if this was a better, you know, sheath, it would probably be, you know, 37, 47. So, you know, go figure. Now for my favorites. All right, guys. All right. Check out the hen and rooster. Look at this beast. Genuine stag. What are we at here? What's the number? HRDS S107 DS2 You guys read that? It's a limited edition Gorgeous Heavy duty Even has a, a nice lanyard on it With this uh you know, a little tooth or something. Check out that badass sheath that came with it. That is a sheath, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> high, high quality, high quality leather sheath. One of my favorite knives in my collection. 
this badass hen and rooster. Made in Spain, German stainless, diamond edition. And next, we have another hen and rooster. Look at that blade. See, you do get what you pay for, ladies and gentlemen. The hen and roosters are by no means cheap. Look at that. What is this number here? The HR0007. Again, made in Spain. Whew. Feels so good. Feels so good in hand. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ain't he something? All right. That's my babies. Did a review on this guy the other day, but I think he is beautiful. This is that white tail by Frost Cutlery. The white tail, WT 923, I believe. It's got that black and red spacer on the stag handle, brass guards. I love those little cuts on top. This thing is awesome.